Today's video is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. Ridge.com slash Pip9. The Ridge is a quality, minimalistic front pocket product designed to upgrade from the old bulky wallet. The Ridge is slim, RFID blocking, holds up to 12 cards and room for cash. It also has over 30,000 five-star reviews. The Ridge Wallet comes in a whole range of styles, including carbon fiber, forged carbon, titanium, and many other styles to suit your needs. Ridge also offers other great accessories like phone cases, bags, mobile charging, knives, and a lot of other great quality products. Take advantage of the free shipping so you can get it fast, free returns if you don't like it, and it comes with a lifetime guarantee. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash pibnight. That's right, ridge.com slash pibnight and use code pibnight, link in the description. Thanks Ridge for the channel sponsor and to all those who have purchased their products. Watch up into you for today's video where we full Pokemon Fusion Team. This is a Pokemon team made up of 12 different Pokemon all fused into their cool little forms. If you want to check me on Twitch, make sure you do. This is where I do all my live streams for Pokemon themed teams, Pokemon sweeps, Shiny Hunting, and it's also where I take battles as well. So you can check that out. Twitch.tv slash PipNightYT. Today we got three battles. Uh, these battles were all done on the Ycom 2, and they were pretty interesting battles. The first Pokemon, uh, I mean trainer we got, is a against uh, Chills here, and he's got a totally legitimate Landorus lead. Nothing like a fresh legitimate Landorus lead in the morning, right? So we got a Necrozma Dawnwings lead here, and I'm going to be using a physical set, right? Now, this team was uh, kind of interesting, right? Because some of the Pokemon fusions, you could have multiples on them on one team, right? They could have the Solgaleo and the Lunalar, and then get the Dawnwings and the Dustmane on the same team, because they got the Lunarizer and the Solarizer. However, when you compare them to, like, the Shadow Rider, you can only have one Shadow Rider on your team. So you can either have the Ice or the Ghost one, right? Same with the Kyrams. You can't have Black and White Kyrams uh, on the same team. You've got to have one or the other. So I had to split this up into a couple of battles, right? So we got the, uh, we got the Politoed, I nearly said Kermit, hopping into the battle here with the, uh, Drizzle. So I'm gonna knock off its item, which is the Terrain Extender. So I thought, okay, that's interesting. So I've got Psychic Fangs and Shadow Claw on this set. Um, they're my main two stab moves, and Brick Breaker knock off as the other ones. Max Attack and Max Speed are Jolly Nature. So Politoed's gonna be going for a Scald here. I really don't hope I get burned because that would, uh, I mean, let's face it, Darling's Necrozma as a physical attacker isn't very good. I really had to try and nerf most of my team down because these are very, very powerful Pokemon, right? Using four Pokemon was a good challenge, but then using, uh, you know, most of the Pokemon nerf was an even bigger challenge, right? So Polydote's got to swap out, and we've got the Ludicolo coming in. So, like, okay, is this going to be, like, just a, you know, a speedy Ludicolo in the rain, right? And I get some pretty good damage with the Shadow Claw, but it's got the rain dish. I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It's like a bulky set. So it's got leftovers, and it's got the rain dish at the same time. So my first thought here was to go for knockoff. Firstly, to get rid of that leftovers. That's going to be kind of annoying. And then I might try and attack it right. So it's going to uh, go for the knockoff on the Ludicolo. Does some pretty good damage there, uh, taking it to half health. Now, it's going to go for a Giga Drain on my Dormings Necrozma. Doesn't do a lot of damage. I'd say most of their investment is in bulk rides on the Ludicolo. Plus, you know, Dormings Necrozma is a pretty bulky Pokemon, right? I very, very much like the shiny forms, especially of uh, you know, Necrozma Dormings. Looks really cool. Those fleshy sort of wings, or back like like wings, I guess you could say. Uh, put it like that. So now Ludicolo is going to swap out of this, and uh, we got the uh, free Pokemon coming back in, which is the Landorus. Now, this Landorus really caused me a lot of issues, right? Now, it's going to drop in my attack with the Intimidate there. They're very lucky that I'm running a special set. So we got the Shadow Claw, hoping for a critical hit on the Lando. It does basically no damage like you know, I already knew it was going to do. Now, Landorus is a very difficult Pokemon to swap into, especially when you've only got four Pokemon to work with, and some of them don't really appreciate getting hit by, you know, a very powerful, like, a, a ground move or a rock type move, something like that. So now it's going to be going for a Rock Slide here, and Rock Slide is going to take my Necrozma Door Wings out. So at the moment, I'm going to 
very, very bad situation because once again, I bought only four Pokemon and I'm down one already. So at the moment, it's three versus six. So going into my Kyrum Wydia, and this is a, uh, a physical Dragon Dance set, right? I decided to go for a physical one. So we've got Dragon Claw, Icicle Sphere, Body Press, and Dragon Dance. So I could go for my Dragon Dance and try and outspeed this run. So now it's going to go for a Rock Slide. I knew that would be inclined to stay in because it's super effective, but I knew that I'd be able to tank that one, right? And I didn't get Flint. So go for that plus one in a speed and attack. And I want to see, uh, you know, what item this actually has. Is it Choice Scarf or is it Choice Bam? Now, I was a little bit scared that it might be Choice Scarf, and my team's going to be very, very weak if it is. So, go for Icicle Sphere. I knew that two would be enough to easily take it out, and it outspeeds me. I'm like, oh, no, this is really bad. So, now, remember, at this point, it's two Pokemon versus six Pokemon, right? So, I'm going to swap in my Necrozma um, Dust main here. Now, this is a special uh, set. On this one, we got Max Speed and max special attack run. I've got Phonon Geyser, Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, and Calm Mind. I would have liked to get, um, you know, the other form, but it's not currently in the game, right? So that would have been uh, really, really cool to do. But uh, I couldn't Ultra Burst people. I'm sorry. We need uh, we need like a hacker to do that or something like that. So I'm going to be going for a, uh, a Calm Mind here. I know the Choice Scarf now, so I knew they were going to swap. And uh, we got the uh, Grim Snarl coming in. I knew Grim Snarl would come in as well. I checked their team preview out, and I was like, Grim Snarl's definitely going to come in. They're going to expect, like, you know, a psychic type move. So getting a free car mind up there, which is really nice. And the item I've got in this one is Life Orb too. So I'm going to be doing some really nice damage. Now I went for Flash Cannon. I knew that I'd absolutely destroy this. Uh, the only thing I was worried about if it did go for a screen. That could... Uh you know, complicate things. So instead of I uh, go for a screen, it's got to go for fake out. It's got the normal gem, and it basically does no damage to me whatsoever. So now I could go for a flash cannon and uh, easily take this thing out in one shot. Unless I was going to go for that afterwards, I wasn't really sure. So go for flash cannon, and uh, with a plus one and special attack and the life orb, Grim Style is going to go down. So that's my first KO in this battle. So feel. I finally got a Pokemon down, and I'm going to take a little bit of recoil damage from the Life Orb. Next Pokemon is the Landorus again. I was like, man, this Landorus, this Landorus has taken out every one of my Pokemon. So obviously, I know that an Earthquake's coming, but the problem is there's nothing I can really do about it at this stage. I pretty much am going to have to take the hit or go down into my last Pokemon. So I thought, okay, I'll just go for a photo, and guys, yeah, we got the Earthquake coming my way, obviously, and uh, Necrozma lives on 19 health. Its base defense actually saves it there, and obviously, since it was running a Choice Scarf, it wasn't you know, as powerful as a Choice Band one there, and finally, the Landorus is going to go down, so that's really good. After the Landorus went down, this team really started to open up, like, I could really start doing a lot of damage to it. So in comes another very legitimate Pokemon, uh, being the Reggie Lecky, and uh, man, where do, the, where do these come from? Seriously? Seriously, they're popping up everywhere. So I was like, okay, well, Reggie Lecky's going to outspeed me easy. Like, there's there's nothing I can really do. I just went for any move there, and it's going to go for Ancient Power. I'm guessing they're hoping they'd probably get a boost there. And uh, Solgaleo, or oh, Dawnwing's uh, Necrozma is going to get down. I always get those ones mixed up. Now, uh, Calyrex is going to come in here, and we're going to be using Calyrex Shadow Rider. This is the only good Pokemon on my team. However, I did put a couple of mean moves on. I had to do it. Like, I, I made it a good Pokemon, but uh, outside of Dynamax, it was a little bit average. So we've got Confusion, Astral Bloods, Pollen Puff, and Draining Kiss, Max Speed, and Max Special Attack. So my only hope here is to go for the Dynamax and maybe see if I can get some stat boost uh, from the Grim Nate. Now, I will say one thing, too, about Calyrex. I don't believe it's an actual fusion. It's more that Calyrex just, you know, it sits on on the back of the horse. And maybe it's like a, a bond or a union, I guess you could say. I, I wouldn't say it's 100% a fusion, but uh, the reason I called it a fusion team just was like a collective of these Pokemon, right? Um, I don't think it's actually been established, established to have it called as a fusion or anything like that, from what I've read anyway. So uh, the regular key there is going to swap out, and Politoed is going to hop back into this battle. Now, this is actually really good for me. Um, I'm not going to definitely... Um, you know, there's no way that Polytoad is definitely going to be able to live a Max Phantasm here. And it's going to give me a plus one and special attack, which is very good. Now, I've got Max Special Attack and Max Speed EVs, Tim and Nature on this thing. I want to go fast as possible and hit as hard as I can. So, getting a plus one and special attack here, I've got to get back into this game right now. Regulecki is going to be able to outspeed me, right? That's the only Pokemon that could possibly do any damage to me. I was like, okay, they're probably going to Dynamax Reggie Lecky, right? Because they can definitely outspeed me. But, uh, you know, can they take me out in one hit? That's very, very debatable whether they actually can do that, right? Now they're going to go for a Thunder Cage there. Thunder Cage does kind of average damage to me. It's going to trap me in, but I went for a Max Phantasm. I'm like, okay, 
Does this have a sash? And it didn't have a sash. And it is going to go down, giving me a uh, plus one in uh, special attack, which makes a plus two. And I also seen they had the air balloon there as well. So obviously it didn't have a sash run. I'd me I miss that. Sometimes I miss the air balloon. I'd actually like a little, um, maybe a little balloon icon next to the uh, Pokemon's name. Wouldn't that be cool? Anyway, so the next Pokemon to come in is the Ludicolo. So I'm like, okay, Ludicolo. I've got a plan here, and it's going to be very, very, very disrespectful, right? So what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to go for a, uh, a Max Mindstorm, right? Because I want to put this Psychic Terrain on the field, right? Just, just think about what I'm going to do. You might be able to guess what I'm going to do. So Ludicolo is going to be a Dynamax Pokemon. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Uh, the last Pokemon was weak to Psychic, too. So I was like, okay, this is probably their best choice. I do not believe that Ludicolo will be able to actually live this. Because remember, I've got plus two in special attack. And they've already taken like a fair bit of damage already. And Ludicolo is going to go down. We are clutching right now. Uh, getting back in this game. At that point in the time, I was actually two Pokemon versus six. So... It was a very, very big clutch comeback at the moment. So at the, at this stage in the game, we are now tied at one Pokemon all. The last Pokemon on their side of the team is a Pokemon that is weak to Psychic, right? And this is going to give me a prime opportunity to go for Confusion. So I've got, remember, I've got plus three in Special Attack. The Psychic Terrain is on the field. And the last Pokemon is Toxtricity. I'm like, yes, I can get a Confusion KO here. The only thing that would mess me up uh, if it does have a sash or something like that, right? And I was pretty confident they, and hoping they wouldn't have a sash. So go for Confusion. I had to run Confusion, but I had to do it. It's it's me. I had to do it. So go for Confusion at plus three in Special Attack with this Psychic Terrain. And Toxtricity goes down in one shot. You know they must have been salty after seeing that, that I was using Confusion. Thank you for the battle chills if you ever watch this video. And uh, thank you for battling me with your totally legitimate team. Okay, the next battle, um, battle number two. This was a battle against uh, Furion. I think that's how to uh, say this uh, trainer's name. And what I did right in this battle, I believe, actually, this is the battle I swapped things up a little bit. So the Pokemon that didn't get a chance in the first game, you know, I swapped them up. So we're going to be leading this time off with the uh, Dorwings Necrozma as the, uh, as usually I'd let off with this because it was pretty good. It could tank it and I could see what sort of, uh, you know, strategy they were going to run. So Pinsir is feeling is the lead here. I'm thinking, okay, Pinsir is the lead. What would that be doing as a lead? It has to be maybe Stealth Rock, right? That's the only reason I'd possibly uh, have that as a lead Pokemon or think about that. So I'm going to knock off the Life Orb and they went for Stealth Rocks. So like, okay, that's fair enough. Uh, they're going to get a Stealth Rock on the field, which is a little bit annoying, right? And uh, what I'm going to do, right, is i got to go for either a Shadow Claw or a Psychic Fangs to take this Pinsir out. Now, Pinsir's got some pretty good base defense. So I was like, uh, I don't think I'll be able to take it out without a Shadow Claw critical hit, and it doesn't take uh, their Pinsir out. Now Pinsir is going to go for a Stone Edge. I'm assuming they're going to go for a crit there. It does some pretty good damage to me there, but I can definitely outspeed it and take it out, right? Now it's looking through their team preview, thinking mm, maybe they'll try and swap into another Pokemon. Let's go for Knock Off in case they swap. If they don't swap, Knock Off will still be the job and, you know, taking out the Pinsir. Giving me the early KO there. Once again, I'm only using four Pokemon, so I'm still down. Next Pokemon to come in is Gengar, and Gengar's a very hard Pokemon to swap into, especially with this team. So I was like, okay, you know what? Um, Dorwings has done its job. Um, I'm just going to let uh, the Gengar take it out with the obvious Shadow Ball there. So Necrozma's got to go down, but now I've got a fresh swap into uh, the Gengar right. Now, what I'm going to do right, this time I'm going to go into my Kyrim, and this is my Black Kyrim here. So what I did right, accidentally, I was meant to run Power Herb on this set, right? And I had a good idea. So uh, what we got, we got Kyrim Max, uh, sorry, Sorry, Max Attack and Max Special Attack and Max Speed. I've got Ancient Power, Freeze Shock, Drake Hall Meteor, and Flash Cannon. So it's a fully special set, right? So uh, I ran this one as a timid set. A timid set. Unfortunately, uh, Gengar's going to outspeed me anyway. So go for Shadow Ball there. It's about a three hit KO at this range. I went for three shock. I was like, okay, you know, I've got the free shot going on. This is really good. Gengar will definitely go down in one shot. But I forgot my power herb. Instead of having a power herb, right, I had a ring target on this. I don't know why I put a ring target on it, but like when I was putting the items on this Pokemon, like ring target somehow made its way onto my Kyrim. Uh, anyway, it, it, the result was sort of the same, but unfortunately I took a little bit more damage than I wanted to, right, you know? Basically, what you could do with this Kyrim Black set, right, you could Dynamax it, uh, throw the North Pole at the opponent for three turns, and then go for another one afterwards. So you could essentially use that... Uh, Free Shock, uh, you know, four times in a row. But unfortunately, Mewtwo is going to be able to come in and it's going to outspeed me. Go for the Focus Miss on only such a little bit of health and take me out. That was very lucky there. I could have got a good hit against it, but, uh, you know, that's how it is. So I'm in a lot of trouble now. 
my opponent's got some very, very powerful Pokemon left. So into Calyrex now. Uh, this time, I'm going to be using the Ice Rider set. This is Max Attack and, uh, sorry, Max Health and Max Attack Brave Nature with Quick Claw as the item. Now, the moves I gave it, I gave it some good moves, but I had to give it a meme, right? I had to do it. It's, it's not me if I didn't do it. So I've got Zen Headbutt, Close Combat, it's Signature Move, and Pound. So first turn, I get a quick close. Like, oh, this is awesome, right? This is going to be really good because I've got uh, a very, uh, very, very powerful Pokemon here. Mewtwo is kind of bulky, but I thought this would actually take it out in one shot, right? So go for that big Ice Sphere, and it lives on the tiniest amount of health. Now we get the Fire Blast from the Mewtwo. It does a lot of damage to me, but since I'm running max health, right, I tank that very nicely. I could not help myself. I had to go for Pound here, people. I had to do it. Get the quick little animation twice in a row, and I'm going to take Mewtwo out with a Pound. I mean, if this video, mate, if, if you haven't liked this video already, that was a prime reason to get uh, a like on the video there. Pound Calyrex on your people. Nice channel, people. So getting that chilling nay there from Pound. I don't think anyone's ever going to say that in their life again. And uh, Hitmonchan is going to slide into the battle here. Now, I know uh, like a Mac Punch or Bullet Punch, Hell, any any sort any sort of priority move is definitely coming away. I went for Zen Headbutt, but I know too well it's going to go for that. I couldn't swap out because Stealth Rocks are on the field, right? It was sort of like, I know what's coming, but I can't do anything about it. That was sort of the thing in a lot of these battles that I did today. Okay, down goes my, uh, my Calyrex Ice Rider. My only Pokemon left now is my Necrozma, right? Uh, Dustmane. Now, I haven't actually Dynamax yet, but I had sort of a plan I could go into this battle with. So I've got Photon Geyser, which I thought, okay, I could go for Max Mindstorm. Plus, I could go for Max Steel Spike to bolster my defense. That could be quite good. Now, the Hitmonchan's going to slide out of the battle here, and Dragonite's going to come in. So, like, okay, this is really good, right? Dragonite obviously has Moldy Scale. Well, I'm going to ahead and assume they've got Moldy Scale. What I'll be able to do is I'll be able to attack it, get rid of its multi-scale, and then I'll be able to put the psychic terrain on the field and then attack it again. If they want a Dynamax, they can, but I still believe I'll be able to take it out right or do like a lot of damage on that. So going for the big Dynamax and a crossbow, it actually looks really nice. I got to admit, it looks pretty good. Out of both of these, you know what? I question the day if you're still watching the video at this point. What's your favorite uh, Pokemon fusion or union in uh, Calyrex's case? Let me know there in the comment section of the video. So uh, we got a uh, Dragonite getting one shot at there um, after the, uh, obviously after the uh, Leftos uh, recovery there. It's definitely not going to be able to live this, even if the Dynamax is no point. I do like the nickname they gave Dragonite, though. It's called King. It, it is the king of Pokemon. I have to I have to go over this person. So I could go for a Max Mysol or Max Steel Spike. I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Hitmonchan. I'm going to go for a Max Steel Spike and bolster my defense by one stage just in case they try and Dynamax Hitmonchan. I'd be surprised if they did, but, uh, you know, just in case they do go for a very strong physical move, I'm going to make my defense even more powerful, right? Um, it's also, like, very, very bulky there. Okay, so taking a little bit of uh, life orb damage there. Next Pokemon we've got is the Zapdos. I thought for a second they had the shiny, uh, shiny Galar Zapdos. We almost had to do another video. So at this stage, I could go for a Max Mind Swarm and take the Zapdos out. I was like, hmm, are they going to Dynamax? But they didn't Dynamax the uh, Zapdos at all. I was like, wow, that's going to go down in one shot and it did so it's like okay this is very very good there so Zapdos is down I wonder what Zapdos would have actually been able to do to me outside of like heat wave that's about it that's really all I could have done it wouldn't have taken him out of electric type move no mate okay last Pokemon here is the Hitmonchan I'm out of Dynamax now and they have to Dynamax the Hitmonchan well they don't have to but uh you know I'm guessing they're going to do that right now remember I do have plus one in defense here so I do have a pretty good advantage right so we got the Dynamax Hitmonchan. I actually really like Dynamax Hitmonchan's animation. Like when it goes really big, like it uh, it throws this like it throws like a punch in there. It looks like really cool. So it's got the uh, very very bulky on the special side now, right? Um, even with the psychic terrain on the field, I feel like it may still live. So going for Photon guys, it does a heap of damage, but it managed to live. It could actually have a salt vest at this stage too. I wasn't really sure. So now it's going to go for a, uh, a Max Lightning. Obviously coming off Thunder Punch there, but it does very very minimal damage me and I'm gonna be able to outspeed it and take the Hitmonchan out. Man, look at Hitmonchan's foot! Look at that foot there! Alright, it got like a, it's got like a little purple skirt on too. So uh, we got the Hitmonchan going down to the next uh, move and it takes it out with the crit. Not that it mattered or anything, but uh, that is the second battle. Thank you for the battle. I think it was... was that was it Fusion? Actually, is, is their name actually Fusion? I think I got the name wrong. It's not Fusion. I forgot that... 
Oh, it's, it's Fury. I thought it'd be Fusion. I was like, that's going to be, like, if he take away the R and put an S in, it would have been Fusion. Man, that's the, how's that for irony? Thankfully, the battle Fury. Uh, let's go on to the third and final battle. This is the battle against David. Now, David actually had six Pokemon in the team preview, but uh, he was good enough to bring four along. So, like, okay, this will be interesting. He did have quite a scary Pokemon team, though. Now, this was interesting. So, we got the Night Tiles leader. I was leading off with my uh, Dawnwings uh, Necrozma. So, I was like, okay. This could actually be kind of interesting if they do go for a Veil run. Now, the Nine Tails has a snowboarding ability, and I was like, okay, let's see what they're going to do. So they went for the Veil. I was like, oh, this is really good, right? Because I can use Psychic Fangs and get rid of their Veil and do some good damage to right. First thing, I wanted to knock their item off. I knew they'd probably be running the Light Clay or the Icy Rock. So Icy Rock is going to go there, and that's all good. So now I can go for the Psychic Fangs. Nine Tails going to pop a nasty plot here, so... Uh, if it's going to go for, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably going to go for a blizzard in the hail, and that is going to hit very, very hard there. So go for the Psychic Fang. Psychic Fang breaks that veil and does a lot of damage to Nine Tiles. And Nine Tiles' defense isn't very good, right? Then again, uh, my attack isn't great, too. You know, I definitely didn't get a one shot there, but did some pretty good damage. So blizzard hits me fairly hard there. I went for another Psychic Fang and took out the Nine Tiles. So I've actually quite a nice little lead there, and I actually stopped the opponent setting up the veil which would have been very scary uh, what happens in the next part of this battle. So out comes the Arkansas. I know straight away is what's going to happen there. It's going to be able to outspeed me and go for the bolt beak and take me out. So it's like, oh no, this is bad. Imagine right now, right? Imagine if this thing had a veil up on top of it too. That would have been scary. Like, it's scary right now. So the next Pokemon to come in is Minor Cross. I'm like, wow, this is going to be interesting whether I can actually live this or not. I went for a Heat Wave Life Orb right now. Hits me so hard. I live on two health. Heat Wave actually connects, which is absolutely amazing. But Arctazolt lives on a little bit of health too. Oh man, that was such a bad... That, that was good, but it was bad at the same time because it, it won't go down to hail or anything like that. And it's still remaining on the field. So I've got my car in here. I'm thinking... I believe they're running a choice band and said I could be wrong, but I believe they're running choice band. So they're gonna go for another bolt back here. That sort of answered my question whether they're running choice band or not. And it still did a heap of damage to me. I'm gonna sit on Arkansas and it's gonna be going down, but that was crazy. So what they did right, they set the nine tails up right. They were gonna go for the veil. If that veil was up with the heat with the um Heat wave that could have caused all kinds of issues. I may not have been able to even stop it right. So in comes the katana once again, a ve another very good Pokemon, and that's going to take out my car in there with the uh, with the smart strike. So now they're going to get an instant uh, boost there with beast boost, and this is going to be a very very scary Pokemon to get around there. They're going to boost their attack too, which is even uh, even worse, right? So it's going to get a little bit of damage from the hail. I was like, okay, well. Let's use Calyrex here. This is my last Pokemon. And remember, they got four Pokemon too. So it's a, it's a 4v4. At this stage, I have to Dynamax Pokemon. Well, it's my last one. And I've got to take this Katana out, right? Now, Katana's special defense is not very good at all, right? So I was hoping, hoping that they wouldn't Dynamax. But then I was like... Well, if I was using a Katana and I got a plus one on attack, I'd probably Dynamax my Pokemon. Especially since I know the opponent's only got four Pokemon. And this is going to be the last Pokemon, right? But I guess the thing about it is when they brought six, they could sort of choose their Pokemon that would work well against my team too. So now we got a uh, Dynamax Katan here. Like these Pokemon are no joke, especially like the the Pokemon Vores are no joke, and of course Katana is too. I believe like any like a lot of the like any of the Ultra Beasts are very very good in Dynamax, especially ones that are very speedy like Katan, like. Very, very broken, right? So we got one big origami there. Man, I haven't made an origami in like 69 years. Like, I think on the last time I made like a little origami was like a little swan or something like that. Anyway, so I unfortunately don't take the katana. Right? I drop its defense, which means absolutely squad. And uh, now it's going to go for a max overgrowth against my Calyrex uh, Shadow Rider there. It did have a plus one but it actually doesn't take me out. So I was like, okay, this is really good. I know that I can outspeed it because I'm running, uh, you know, Tim and Nature, and I can definitely take the Katana out. And now they've only got one more Pokemon remaining after this, which is very good. Even if they go for a max guard here, I know that I can outspeed and take it out anyway. So there's really no point, you know, if they do go for a max guard, they're only going to get a little bit like of health there from the max overgrowth. Anyway, so go for the uh, disrespect disrespectful confusion there, taking out the Katana. And there's one Pokemon left, Right, and I was hoping that it wasn't going to be the Pokemon that uh, you know, they'd bring along, right? And uh, it's quite ironic what the last Pokemon is going to be. So Katana is going to faint there like a little paper plate. And the last Pokemon they're going to swap into the battle after I get my Grimnay uh, boost from the special attack, of course, is Dragonite. I was like, okay, what do I do here? 
I am in a little bit of trouble because this thing's got multi scale. Let's go for max starfall and let's hope for the best, right? So I got plus one in special attack there. It did it very hard, but once again, Dragonite's very bulky with multi scale. And I was worried that it might have a weakness policy. At this stage, it probably didn't matter because I only had like a little bit of health remaining. But Dragonite does have the weakness policy. And I'm like, okay, well, that's GG. Unless it went for a Dragon Ants, which I very much doubt it's going to do. And then it went for the Outrage and took out my Calyrex. So a very, very close battle there in the end. Unfortunately, Arctazolk uh, took out too many of my Pokemon for me to make a big comeback there at the end. Thank you for the battle, David. And thank you to all three people that I battled. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Peace.